I met with the police commissioner, the days are blending together, last Thursday. So I met with the police commissioner last Thursday. Internal affairs had begun an investigation. There was so much video footage by citizens, the media, that they were taking time to look at all that footage and he was gonna get back to me when he had some answers. I have not heard from him yet, but I look forward to continuing the conversation with him. I haven't heard of anything. I mean, one of the things that we have to do generally is on all of the bills that had been heard and where there was potentially movement around them over the last four years before the new session, they all have to be reintroduced. There was no introduction of bills today because we just did the budget extender. I'm sure there'll probably be some bills that are reintroduced at the next dated meeting. It's really gonna be incumbent upon the council members themselves to figure out what they wanna do. Um, so I look forward to seeing what comes forward through that process. Connor. I support the Move New York plan, but I also said that I'm not wedded to any specifics. What I mean by that is I want us to get to the heart of the problem and take care of the congestion issue that plagues the city both in Manhattan and in the outer boroughs. So if there is a plan, I look forward to seeing the governor's uh, commission when they release their findings later this week, I believe. I'll look at that and then we can start to have a conversation. I do support congestion pricing, but I am flexible when it comes to the exact solution, so long as we decrease con congestion. Aaron. The vast majority of New Yorkers rely on the subway system and bus service every single day. As I've said before, it's the most I think egalitarian part of New York City is people riding the subway. I took the subway here today. I tried to get on the two train at 14th Street, but we sat in the station for seven minutes. And so the two one trains had passed. I got on the following one train, took the one train down here. There were frustrated folks on the two three train. We need to take care of congestion in New York City. And the way to do that is to take some of the congestion pricing revenue that the city would gain and put that into the MTA, put that into rapid bus transit service and to invest more in mass transit. That's what I support. My district just hearing, and I haven't read it yet given Connor's question, hearing about uh, some of what the governor proposed yesterday, it would entirely, my whole district falls within that catchment area, the district that I represent. And so it would have a big effect on my district, I think a good effect actually. <laughs> And again, as I said after the charter meeting, I wanna have a conversation with all the folks in the council. I actually think that even some of the outer borough council members who have a lot of um, vehicle owners and drivers are flexible so long as their districts will see some benefit from this plan. Mike, yeah. Do you know the exact 58? I haven't heard of it. Okay. No, that's in Councilmember Powers' district. Oh, okay. I don't know about it. I think he had take, he he had uh, he had a pre preliminary look at some of the videos. I think it was mostly some of the media videos. BuzzFeed had a pretty extensive video and there were some other reporters that had posted stuff on Twitter right away. There were also a lot of security cameras on Broadway. So I believe the NYPD was gonna have kind of an aerial view by understanding how it all unfolded. He was gonna take a look at that. Uh, 
he told me that from what he saw, the video that was posted of me, I think from New York One, that I of course did not obstruct an ambulance, and I knew that already. Uh, but we had a brief conversation about that. He told me he's gonna look into uh, what Internal Affairs is looking at, and he will get back to me. I do wanna say that you know, Liz Robin from your paper, David, I think said something that was pretty alarming to me, which was after uh, Robbie Ragbeer was leaving Bellevue and being transported to uh, Newark Airport to then be flown to Miami that um, ICE was given a NYPD police escort from the city out to Newark, which I'm not supportive of and uh, I think there's real concern there. It was the first place I saw it reported, so it's something that we have to ask more questions about. I like Jumani. I think he's a principled guy. I think he's a good elected official. He and I don't agree on everything. Uh, there's a long time before we get into the 2018 political season as it relates to the statewide offices and the state legislature. Uh, and I'm sure I'll be involved at some point, but I haven't really focused that much on it. Do you support him as president? Uh, I'm happy to have conversations with him, which we haven't done yet. I still haven't had an opportunity to sit down and have a conversation with uh, the chair of NYCHA. She reached out to me uh, last week. She and I are gonna schedule a time to sit down and get together and have a conversation about all the things that you just enumerated, uh, Mike. But I would say that given the, the lead paint issues, the boiler issues, uh, this issue, which I actually hadn't had the opportunity to read that article yet, um, there is a systemic problem at NYCHA. And I don't think the problem falls on the shoulders of the chair. She is now responsible and she has to right the ship, but years of disinvestment from the state and federal governments has left NYCHA with a multi, multi-billion dollar uh, capital need, which is not gonna be met anytime soon. So I look forward to having uh, Chair Ampri Samuels and Chair Torres to spend some time, hopefully soon, to look into NYCHA related issues, specific issues, boilers and other things, as well as the management of NYCHA as a whole and to take a more broad view systemically at what we need to do to improve NYCHA. I support the city putting more money into the MTA, but there needs to be real accountability, there needs to be timelines, there needs to be cooperation on what that money's gonna go towards, whether it be uh, the signal system. I saw that great story uh, in the Times over the weekend about the potential genius grants where there was a random New Yorker who said maybe you could add more trains at each station. I mean, we need to have a, a plan. Uh, and I look forward to having a conversation with uh, Andy Byford, uh, who's now the head of the MTA, uh, and Chair Loda about, I think the governor's having his budget address right now, and I believe as part of that address, he's saying that the state's gonna put in their half of the money. 
I would support the city putting in our half of the money so long as we have some accountability and answers on the timeline, the transparency, and accountability related to what that money is going to go towards. I think we're going to have some news relatively soon on how the council is going to approach this issue. Probably in the next couple of weeks, we'll have more to say on our approach to the subway system. And I think it's going to be hopefully helpful to the members of the body and show that we are going to use our charter mandated authority in leveraging uh, answers and better service for strap hangers. Not really. I mean, the weird thing is, it's going to be, Robin's going to kick me. Uh, it's going to be brutally candid here. You know, I love Bill Alatrice, the council photographer. You all know him. A very talented, good man. Part of the reason why I've invited him to come along with me in the mornings when I've taken the subway is I want to show New Yorkers that I'm taking the subway. I mean, I, I, I've never owned a car. I've taken the subway nearly every day for 17 years from living in New York City. So now it's strange to have a car and a driver and a police detail. And first of all, I like the subway, again, when it works. Um, when I've gone on in the morning, you know, protocol is with the NYPD that certain things need to happen when I take the subway, which is strange to me. No one has bothered me. People have been friendly, nice. Uh, but, you know, this morning I got to witness real frustration on behalf of New Yorkers who were sitting in a subway car with multiple one trains passing across the platform, and we were sitting there waiting for the two, the two train to make its express stop. So I think it's important for me to continue to not be a nerd to what the experience is every day for New Yorkers all over the city. Um, I was gonna, I was at Adrian Adams' uh, swearing in on Saturday out at York College, the last stop on, um, I believe it was the, the E train out there. And I was gonna take the subway back um, all the way to Chelsea, because I live right near the ACE stop. But it was brutally, brutally cold. And so I decided in that moment to actually drive back. Um, but I'm gonna take the subway all the time. And um, it is a weird phenomenon now for me that I am being recognized a lot more wherever I go all over the city. I was, uh, I was uh, dancing with friends on Sunday night uh, at a disco party in Brooklyn. And I didn't stay out too late because I had MLK events the next day. But I was on the dance floor and I had two people tap me on the shoulder and say, are you Corey Johnson, the speaker? <laughs> That's weird. That's, I was, that didn't happen before. So, you know, there's a, there are, there are changes that are happening, and I am smiling and being grateful, but also recognizing that things have changed. How do you deal with that? Um, I, uh, I, read, I read on my phone. So I read, like, the Politico morning newsletters. I read them from the Times app. I read from the Politico app. I, I just read on the subway. That's it. Connor? I have a strong working relationship with the mayor and with the governor. And I think to get things done for the city, for the subway system, for the homeless crisis, for affordable housing, for all of the issues that affect the vast number of New Yorkers, I am not going to get in the middle of any type of political fight. I am here for results. I'm here for us to use our charter mandated powers, and that's what it's about. It's not about uh, getting in the middle of any type of fight. I am my own person. I am an independent person, and uh, no one controls me. I am no one's puppet. Great. Thank you. Thanks.